Hello DC fans and people who love to catch up with Ezra Miller shenanigans, we got an update! What we're going to be discussing here today involving the whole Ezra Miller saga is we've gotten a report from insiders on exactly what Warner Brothers is planning to do with the Ezra Miller situation. They've listed out three possible options that Warner Brothers are currently discussing and I think one of them seems like the most obvious choice while the other two, it would be kind of shocking if they actually did it. I'm going to be going down the list of these three options, giving you my opinion, what I think is best Best, but also I want to hear from you guys out of these three possible scenarios that Warner Brothers is currently sitting down talking about in some boardroom which do you think is the best option for the Flash the Ezra Miller situation and just the future of the DCEU as well as don't be forgetting to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already okay I know there's someone out there watching who hasn't subscribed just touch that little red button. All right, so yes, The Hollywood Reporter this morning came out with an article titled Warner Brothers Wayne Fate of The Flash as its Ezra Miller problem grows. And mind you again, this is The Hollywood Reporter, basically the number one go-to source for everything in the movie industry. If they report on it, that is because there is a 99.9% .9 chance it is all factual. So this isn't really a rumor or someone something made up. It's coming from actual reliable sources inside Hollywood, which makes it all that more interesting to what exactly is going down here so let's just start off with the first option they have here listed first Warners has received indication that 29 year old Miller whose mother has accompanied the actor in recent days will seek professional help after returning home to their farm in Vermont if that help happens Miller who goes by they them pronouns could give an interview at some point explaining their erratic behavior over the past few years the actor could do limited press for the flash and the movie would open in cinemas as planned all right so so essentially with that first option is Warner Brothers releases the movie, they get Ezra Miller the help they need, they send Ezra to some sort of rehab or wellness center, and they get better. Heck, I think even recently online, paparazzi have taken photos of Ezra Miller with their mother, so that kind of looks like the plan that's unraveling right now, dependent on Ezra Miller getting that help. But the part of this option that makes me go, oh, that is a terrible idea, is doing an interview where Ezra Miller explains their behavior for the past few years. Now you know me, I like to be upfront and honest with you guys and I'm not gonna hide it, there is a growing movement of people that believe Ezra Miller is innocent. And while I haven't done a deep dive on the people who believe that, they seem to always have some sort of response for why Ezra Miller was in a recent bar fight, was arrested, was being accused of grooming children, and me being someone who likes to see the good in people and hope they're not as terrible as they're being made out to be, in my mind and gut, I just don't see how every possible scenario that Ezra Miller has been in has some otherworldly excuse that makes them innocent like they were on a tirade in Hawaii arrested multiple times had restraining orders put on them then the instances of being accused of grooming where a judge filed a restraining order against Ezra Miller to be around that person same thing goes for this other family that apparently Ezra Miller was housing at his farm where there were supposedly guns everywhere then most recently the burglary charge that states in the police report video evidence of Ezra Miller committing the crime maybe if it was one person constantly accusing Ezra Miller of all this stuff I could tend to believe there's some other explanation but when it happens literally all over the world different police officers different people calling the cops on Ezra you really tell me every single one of those instances was a mere misunderstanding and coincidence I have a hard time believing that. But I think that's exactly why this option is on the table because maybe there is some weird explanation for everything Ezra Miller has done that could change our whole perspective on the situation. But I have yet to see a real interview with a celebrity being accused of stuff and them trying to explain themselves. Like, here we go. He has no pizza experience. He's never been in the pizza category. I would just say, stay tuned. The day of reckoning will come. The record will be straight. Why not set the record straight down? I mean, what is it about the record that's not straight? <laughs> Stay tuned. Use your common sense. Don't forget the blogs. Forget how you feel about me. Hate me if you want to. Love me if you want. But just use your common sense. Oh, right now, I just think I need to be a monster and hold girls against their will, chain them up in my basement. This is not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this Thank you. 
there's like a 10% chance Ezra Miller getting on camera explaining their situation could work and a 90% chance the situation gets proven far worse and then memes just come out of that situation. But like I said, if Ezra Miller truly has an explanation and proves themselves innocent, everyone deserves that right to get that story out there. The second option they have here, which I think everyone's going to agree this is the most likely scenario they're going to go with for this movie. They have it here. The second scenario, even if Miller doesn't reach out for help, Warner could still release the film, but do not expect Miller to play a prominent role in terms of marketing and publicity, nor would Miller be the Flash going forward as the role would be recast in future projects. Now that last line in this scenario is interesting because I'm not seeing a lot of people talk about it. They're only mentioning Ezra Miller would be recast as the Flash if they go with this second option. So it makes it sound like if they go with the first, they do the interview, Ezra Miller gets proven innocent, everyone likes what Ezra Miller has to say when they're being interviewed, this new regime in Warner Brothers would be willing to keep him on as Barry Allen and have them show up in Flash 2, another Justice League movie, or whatever else. And that is shocking to me because I just don't see how you as a company could take this risk again to spend millions of more dollars on another movie and then months later have more headlines pop up have more crazy things happen it's just really not worth the risk plus i don't know who would replace ezra miller if it came down to that whoever it is they gotta be charming funny and definitely look good in a flash mask it's also funny how the first two options are basically exactly the same, except they handle marketing differently. One, Ezra Miller will be part of the marketing, or two, Ezra Miller will not be part of the marketing. And I don't think that just means for like interviews or people talking about the movie, like what made you interested in this story? I think they also mean it when it comes to trailers, posters, like we're gonna have Ezra Miller freaking Mike Wazowski on them flash posters. I did a little mock-up exactly to what I think they'll look like and they'll be like this. Same way they cut out Ezra Miller's face from the Shazam 2 trailer, I would not be surprised if we get a Flash trailer where they do some clever trickery to barely show Ezra's face throughout that entire trailer. Like seriously, the trailer marketing company that is in charge of making that first Flash trailer is going wild with like, what do we show in this movie? Still, I do think that is the better option because then when we get to option three, they have it here. The third case, things go from bad to worse. With the situation with Miller deteriorating, this would see Warner's killing the movie outright as it could not be reshot with a different actor. Miller plays multiple characters and is in almost every scene. Scrapping a $200 million film would be an unprecedented move. And look, as much controversy as The Flash has had, I still remain adamant I do not want want this movie canceled. That was just like some heartbreaking messed up stuff that Warner Brothers did to the Batgirl and Scoop movie that the people who worked hard on those films will just never see the light of day. And just because that happened to Batgirl and Scoob, I don't want to wish upon that same fate to Andy Muschietti, Michael Keaton, and Sasha Kaye, and all the other hundreds of thousands of people that worked on the Flash movie. One person should not ruin it for the entire film, and that work should be seen. So I really don't think canceling the movie is the way to go, and even just looking at it from a business perspective, that would be so dumb. I know I get it all the time from people like, well, just reshoot Ezra Miller. It's like, if you're gonna reshoot him, you might as well just make a whole new movie because like it says, they're in almost every scene, so you're basically refilming the entire movie. Might as well just make a new movie. It's still crazy though that this is an option on the table. As much as I don't see it happening or want it to happen, they're discussing it and they're thinking about it like, dang, are we about to do this? Are we going to pull the plug and make this another tax write-off? Knock on wood, but the only way, the only way I see this option actually being made is if this whole Ezra Miller situation ends on a tragedy, okay? I do not wish this upon Ezra, no matter how much bad stuff comes out about them, but with every incident and situation escalating and escalating, it feels like it's building up to something really bad. And if this situation ends with Ezra Miller dying or them accidentally harming someone else to irreparable damage, it's like, yeah, then you can't release the movie. How are you going to promote a film with someone that's committed the ultimate heinous crime? Again, I know that is extreme, but this is an extreme measure right here. Canceling a $200 million movie and seeing that flush down the toilet. Ezra Miller has to do something unbelievably bad with 100% proof for them to go pull the plug. 
no one's going to see this movie now. I really do not envy the people at Warner Brothers right now sitting down and having to discuss this situation and figure out to what exactly is going on. This is their three options. We all know they're basically going to go with the second option, release the movie, pretend Ezra Miller doesn't exist. Once the movie's done, three weeks later after collecting some good box office money, they'll come out and do a little BS press statement of, we at Warner Brothers have never agreed with the actions of Ezra Miller and we will take action to replace them because we cannot stand by this. By the way, thank you for seeing The Flash and giving us all your money. So I throw it off to you guys. You hear these are the options right now. Warner Brothers is rattling off in their minds. Which could you see being true? Which would you want to happen? I know there's going to be some people who don't care and are just like, cancel the movie, get it done, get it out of here. And well, it looks like there is a percentage of a chance that could actually happen. Don't be forgetting to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chris. Take care.